This is Shaft. How the hell you got this number? Off a bathroom wall in a goddamn subway. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie scores and soundtracks by modern musicians. <laughs> For this list, we'll be ranking the musical scores or soundtracks to movies that were written or performed by musicians who got their start in another medium. Songs and complete scores will be considered for this list, just so long as the composer got their start in a band or on their own. Which of these movie scores is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Lethal Weapon – Eric Clapton, David Sanborn, and Michael Kamen You might not think on the surface that the soundtrack to an action flick would be composed by a classic rock icon and jazz saxophonist with an esteemed conductor and composer, but here we are with Lethal Weapon. I got it. This original soundtrack was the work of Cream founder Eric Clapton, with smooth jazz musician David Sanborn alongside Michael Kamen. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Swear to God, you need me. The soundtrack mixes up Kamen's extensive work in the film score department with two relative newcomers, but Clapton and Sanborn's musical talents accentuate Kamen's moody orchestral cues perfectly. Get that son of a bitch! Clapton in particular enjoyed a decent career working on films, from Rush in 1991 to three more sequels in the Lethal Weapon franchise. However, his guitar truly shines with an absolutely brilliant tone. Number 9. The Proposition – Nick Cave and Warren Ellis Fans of Nick Cave's moody balladry and atmospheric songwriting may have wondered what took the musician so long to finally compose a film score. Suppose I said that I could give you the chance to expunge the guilt beneath which you so clearly labor. Suppose I gave you till Christmas. Well, truth be told, Cave had indeed worked on a couple of projects prior to 2005's collaboration with Warren Ellis on the proposition. But it was here where his skill in film composition truly began to crystallize. Much of the proposition does hinge upon Ellis's violin melodies, but Cave's vocals on tracks like Moan Thing and The Rider Number no. One are unsettling, especially when combined with some successfully anachronistic instrument effects. It's the last way you'd expect a film score for a western to sound, but that's ultimately why it works so well. Number 8. Ghost Dog – The Way of the Samurai – RZA Fans of the Wu-Tang Clan are well aware of the group's adoration for classic kung fu cinema. So it sort of goes without saying that one of the clan's most well-known members would eventually work within the film score medium. RZA has also accomplished the goal with style and substance to spare, working on such high-profile films as Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill franchise, as well as RZA's own films about the man with the iron fists. Ghost dog, power and quality. I always see everything, my brother. Ghost Dog was created during an early point in RZA's composing career, but it doesn't sound like it as there's a wealth of depth to the melodies that work well with RZA's heritage of writing beats for the Wu. Number 7. Her – Arcade Fire with Owen Pallet Here's a question, why was it so difficult to obtain a copy of an Academy Award-nominated film score? Fans 
fans of Arcade Fire wondered this when the indie rock band's collaboration with composer Owen Pallett remained unreleased on physical media or streaming until March of 2021. I think I've felt everything I'm ever gonna feel. And from here on out, I'm not gonna feel anything new. The score itself is delicate and spare, but strangely beautiful and calming, with a post-rock feel echoing the work of a band like Explosions in the Sky. <laughs> There's a dreamlike sensibility to the music that makes it perfect nighttime listening on a great pair of headphones, which makes it all the more head-scratching that it took nearly a decade for it to finally be made available to the public. I can see you in it. I am. Number 6. Anatomy of a Murder – Duke Ellington there have been many outstanding examples of jazz music being used within a film score framework, from crime jazz to big band funk, but Duke Ellington's 1959 score for Anatomy of a Murder was something special. See you later, Pia. Okay. For starters, it was a milestone for African American musicians working behind the scenes in cinema. Beyond that, it proved that Ellington wasn't just a visionary band leader, but an intuitive composer. The cues here range from bold and brassy to sweet, swaying, and seductive, all the while driving home character motivations with tons of personality and charm. If you're looking for the ultimate example of ultra cool, look no further than the incredible work Duke Ellington and his band laid down for Anatomy of a Murder. But I know this, everybody loves something or someone. I don't, me, I love fishing. Number 5. Flash Gordon – Queen Queen has never done anything in half measures, so it sort of makes sense that the band would be tasked with composing a score for what was essentially a live-action cartoon. Now parallel to Starfield Sigma-12, approaching. It might have been easy to just cruise on a couple of exclusive songs and call it a day, but Brian May and his bandmates went all in with a score that's part synth sizzle, part guitar histrionics, and absolutely one of a kind. Frontman Freddie Mercury shines on the title theme and the kiss. But for the most part, this is May's show, an honest to goodness score with a lot of thought and focus on the arrangements. The final product on vinyl and CD even melds the music with dialogue from the film, providing a truly immersive experience. Gosh. Number 4. Shaft – Isaac Hayes It only takes a second after that hi-hat hits and you're there. 1971 – Shaft and the Funk Soul legend Isaac Hayes was at the peak of his powers at this time, riding high on an early string of classic albums. but not even Hayes could imagine the impact his score for Shaft would have upon the public consciousness. It became something of a cultural touchstone, connecting the burgeoning black exploitation movement in cinema with soul music's own coming of age and popularity. Does the music make you move? The main theme of Shaft has that legendary Hayes narration, but it's important to remember how stellar the arrangements are here, from gritty urban grooves to funky beats that still get heads bouncing to this day. Who's a black private dick that's a sex machine to all the chicks? Shaft! Damn right. Number 3. Tron Legacy – Daft Punk there's a lot of respect for the past and present within Daft Punk's score to Tron Legacy, both for the original classic film as well as their electronic musical origins. The 
work of pioneers like Vangelis, Giorgio Moroder, and original Tron composer Wendy Carlos all exist within the DNA of Daft Punk's combination of synthesizer sheen and orchestral bombast. The end results almost sound like a blueprint for modern synthwave music. This amalgamation of atmospheric 80s nostalgia and this nebulous future world that may or may not exist. It's both a soundtrack for an existing movie and the cinema of the mind, an evocative score that's 100% worthy of all the acclaim and accolades it receives. Number 2. Batman – Prince Some film scores stand the test of time, while others almost immediately date themselves, for better or for worse. Prince's soundtrack to Batman in 1989 sounds indebted to the Purple One's progressive funk approach during the late 80s, standing in slight contrast to the dark atmosphere created by both Tim Burton's cinematic vision and Danny Elfman's film score. I kind of like this a lot. Some of the songs here actually predate Batman and were reworked for the film, while others are credited directly to characters like the Joker and Vicki Vale. It's eccentric, flashy, and filled with guitar heroics that sound just as powerful as the caped crusader himself. Just. Before we name our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Where the Wild Things Are, Karen O. Oh. From indie rock anger to childlike innocence. The Princess Bride, Mark Knopfler. Delicate beauty and slight melancholy make this one a tearjerker. Farm boy, polish my horse's saddle. I want to see my face shining in it by morning. As you wish. Sorcerer, Tangerine Dream. Synth pioneers go capital E epic. <laughs> the Last Temptation of Christ, Peter Gabriel. Gabriel's interest in world music highlights this evocative soundtrack. Leave him out. Leave him. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Social Network – Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross Drop the the, just Facebook. Nine Inch Nails were one of the few industrial rock bands to break through commercially in the late 80s and early 90s. But Trent Reznor took things one step further when he entered the world of film composition. The first thing we're going to need is a lot of pictures. Unfortunately, Harvard doesn't keep a public centralized Facebook, so I'm going to have to get all the images from the individual houses that people are in. Let the hacking begin. His collaboration with Atticus Ross on the social network in 2010 had one foot in the world of Reznor's electronic past, but with an eye towards a future filled with ambient moods and intelligent melodies. Adaptations of classical pieces like Edvard Grieg's In the Hall of the Mountain King are cheeky yet surprisingly successful, while hand covers bruise and intriguing possibilities are dark yet accessible cues that exemplify Reznor's amazing ability to combine intense ideas with commercial execution. I have to cancel Wednesday afternoon. I've basically been in the lab this whole time, and also I won't be able to do Saturday as I have to meet up with my parents. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.